Hello, everyone. Just a video. I'm doing a test video um, just to see how things are going. My computer got all cleaned up. Took two days to clean it up. Um, and I'm doing some tests now to see what's going on and trying out this new program. So I'm doing, going to do um, a really quick, well, I hope it's quick, um, a really short video. Um, and I'm going to show you how I make these great little, um, actually, there's all my markings. <laughs> um, these little envelopes, I forgot to erase all that good stuff. Um, they're great little envelopes. You can make them a whole bunch of different sizes. And this one is regular scrapbook paper. And this one is a card stops, card stock. <laughs> Speaking here, card stock scrapbook paper. I actually have a little letter put inside here. Um, it's going to go into my little pocket letter. So, um, you can also just write your message on the paper itself, or you can put something inside of it. So I'm going to show you how to make a pattern for that. These are fairly large. Um, you can make them any size. Um, this one is a real small one that I did. It's the same thing. So it just depends on how big your circle is. That's how big your envelope will be. So what I like to use is a compass. So I'm going to show you how to make the pattern with a compass first. Let me put this back so I don't lose it. And I know where it is. Get these guys out of the way. And to make my pattern, I'm just going to use a, an old magazine page um, just so I have it. And my compass has a pencil in it, so I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but um, I'm making it fairly large so that you guys can all see it, but it just depends on how big your circle is. That's how big your envelope is going to be. So I am just going to make a circle with this compass. I don't really like this compass. but it was free, so I can't complain. And you can't see it because it is in pencil, but I'm just gonna cut out that circle. That's all I'm doing. I just made a circle. Any kind of circle will do. If you don't have a compass, I will show you how to do one without a compass after. So I'm just trying to do very accurate cutting because it does make a difference if you don't have an accurate circle. You really do need an accurate circle. Okay, so there's my circle. And what I'm gonna do, I need a dark pen. What I'm gonna do is fold that circle in half and just crease it a little bit. It's not it doesn't have to be really creased really much. You just need to be able to see the crease. And I am going to mark that crease so you can see it just on the edges. I guess I should make it a little larger so you can actually see it. This is just the pattern, okay? Can you see that? There we go. So that's that one. And then you want to fold it in half the other way and you want to line up those marks together to make sure that they are very much together. You want to make sure they are folding against each other, they're touching. You want to make sure those fold marks are exactly where they need to be. That way your envelope will close perfectly um, and it won't be wonky. If it's off a little bit, your your envelope will, will fold out strange ways. So this is marking where the flaps will be. And then you just mark right there so you can see it. Alrighty. I'm going to use a scrapbook paper. 
I've got these stars here I'm going to use, and I'm going to do this on the back side so we can see. And the envelope pattern is the square that the circle is in, and then you need the flaps. So you need to make sure your circle has enough room to make flaps. I'm very stingy, so I kind of eyeball it that way and eyeball it that way just to make sure I have plenty of room. So this gives me room for a flap here, a flap here, a flap here, and a flap on this side. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to make sure my circle pattern is here and I'm not going to move that. It stays right there. With the compass, this is the, the setting that I made the circle with. You see that? That's exactly the setting. You want to make sure you don't move that at all. You want the flaps to be exactly the same size as the circle. So I am putting the little point right here on one of my little black marks. And I am going to draw the flap. You want to make sure it goes all the way around, um, way past the edge of the first circle. And you want to do that on all four sides without moving your circle template, your circle pattern. And you want to do that for all four sides. You push the point of your compass right to the um, that mark that you made and make that flap circle. It's been a while since I made a video. Um, I'm a little out of practice. And I am going to do that on all four sides. You can kind of see my marks with a pencil on this white paper. And I like to do it with pencil so I can erase it. Okay, um, so that is, if you can see, that's what I'm left with. Um, the circle in the center with all the circle, half circles around it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut all along the outside edge of this thing that I just made. Okay, so I don't need the pattern anymore and I am just going to cut that out. It's going to take me a minute. You want to be fairly accurate um, because that is your envelope. If you've got a little notch in there, you're going to see it. All right. So you want to go fairly smoothly. I'm going to try to do this quickly so I don't know how perfect it's going to be. But take your time when cutting it out. Make sure you're getting on the lines, making it all nice and smooth, and all that good stuff. Okay, turn around the corner, around the corner. You don't want to cut into the envelope either. That's not nice. So there we go. All right, so there is my envelope. I forgot to get a ruler out here. All right. So then to make the envelope, you can erase these lines now. We don't really need them. I guess it would be easier to erase them while it's flat before I do my folding. And I really messed up right there. So I'm just going to do that real fast. And you want to make your pencil lines not really too dark, just dark enough to be able to see them so you can erase them again. 
which makes it look a little nicer. Mine are very dark so you could see it, so they're not really erasing very nicely. It's okay. And then we take my ruler and go from this point to this point, right in the indent there. That's where you want to fold your flap up. And this is how I do it. So I know that I've got a straight line. And I could use the bone folder and get a nice crease on that. Open that up so I can see the next one. And we want to do all four sides just the same exact way. You want to make sure you don't go inside that envelope at all, just from point to point. That one I went in just a little bit, I think. And that way your envelope will open and close fairly smoothly, we hope. Okay, one more. And close that. And there is your envelope. And all you got to do is close each one over itself. And then the last one goes over this side and under this side. So you kind of got to slip it under this side just a little bit. And that's what gets it closed. Now my flaps are just a little large, so it's not, I didn't, I need to make sure that when I folded them in, I went in to the square too much. I need to come out just a little bit. So I'll show you how to do that in the next one. So just to close it, flip this corner underneath, and that is your envelope. It's a little square envelope ready to go. Press it all out. Make sure it's all nice. Very easy to do. If you don't have a compass, get your circle, whatever size circle that you want. I am using a sour cream lid just to get my circle. And I am going to draw around that circle, just like that. I'm going to cut that out. And you might want to make a pattern to use. Um, if you use a paper pattern, keep in mind um, you can only use a paper pattern so many times before it becomes distorted, uh, and then you'll have to make a new one. Paper patterns are great, but when you use them a few times, every time you trace around a paper pattern, you're indenting the paper just a little bit, and after a while, you don't have a perfect pattern anymore, so you have to redo your pattern. So you've got your circle and it's the same thing, folded in half one way, and then match up those folds to fold it in half the other way. And I'm going to show you how to make a pattern, except I don't think that this is big enough, it's not. I may have to do a smaller circle. I didn't think this out properly, guys. Uh-oh. Let me do it on a piece of scrapbook paper. I'm going to do it on this piece of scrapbook paper. I'm going to do it in pencil so I can erase my lines. I guess it doesn't matter if I'm going to use this as a pattern. Um, if you use paper as a pattern, use some cardstock or something. It will last a little longer. Um, and again, You've got your lines and your fold. You can see them here. I'm not going to mark them this time. Um, 
but this is how you make I'm going to do it in pen so you can see what I'm doing I am going to make a little dot where each of those fold lines are around the circle okay and then I'm going to fold my circle in half and I am going to line up and find the center just like that so I've got five little dots here one around each side and one in the center and I think you saw how I found the center I kind of I kind of went like that um, against my fold and made the center that way it should be pretty centered for all of them and then what I want to do is line up that dot so I can see it right here on where the where the um, fold is the fold is right here I am going to make sure that that fold is right there so that this fold goes to this dot and then I know that this you can also do it with a ruler I can I know that these all these dots are in a straight line okay that's all I'm doing is making sure that this is straight on and then I am going to trace around that circle and I'm going to do the same thing for all the other sides matching up all the dots flipping it over to make a dot here so I know where that is and then I'm going to make sure that that's all lined up see all these dots are all lined up in a row can you see that not really I can't zoom my camera doesn't zoom you can see those lines right there okay and then all I do is trace around that circle the half circle it's only half circle same thing for this one make sure my lines are all straight just like that trace around that it's a little bit easier to do with a compass just a little easier and then this one should meet up it doesn't really so I must be off a little bit but I'm just going to draw my line and you can see I'm off just a tad so we'll, we'll see if it works let's see if it works I'm going to cut this out this is one of those big envelopes I used almost whole, the whole paper for this let's see how it works and I don't usually use the black lines um, I usually use pencils so I can erase them but I want you guys to see hopefully I'm explaining it okay I'm really out of practice making videos um, I should have practiced a little bit before I did it but I've got a lot of tests to do today and I wanted to get going on it since I spent the last two days getting the computer fixed and wasn't able to do any videos so I feel like I'm behind I've been behind for the last couple of weeks I'm trying to catch up here just a little bit and then I can get back into practice and making just some plain old videos I'm really excited guys all right so there that is 
and I would use that as a pattern without folding the edges in but I want to make sure that it's it's good so I'm going to fold and what I'm going to do this time in my edges as you can see um, you can see the white parts here in the corners I am going to go a little bit past that this time so that my um, so that my folds my my flaps go more into the envelope um, I'll show you as I do it this time let me fold it real well so you can see the fold I'm making the fold just a little bit past the dot in the center that way when it folds in it's got some room in the center to to deal with the rest of the flaps should have done that last time as well it's been a while since I made one of these like I said I should have made a test one before I started doing this but I'm in a hurry so I got things to do fold all those flaps in get it done and then let's see how it folds together you can do this with double-sided um, paper now this one I didn't fold in quite enough you can still see the little dot in the center so it's one of those you gotta you gotta fiddle with just a little bit um, these should go in just a tad more now that they already have folds in them just a tad more and this really shouldn't have been done the second time but I want to show you where that fold really needs to be it really needs to be right there on the edge of where the next flap comes out see that that really needs to be just pretty much flat same thing with this you've got to have a flat edge right along there so let's see how that folds in now and that is absolutely perfect that way so it has to be flat on the outside and then it completely comes into the center um, and it's a perfect little envelope I like the stripes stripes are good so then um, I would be able to use this as a pattern for any future envelopes that I want to do I would just take a pencil and trace around the edge and cut it out and fold it up like I said though paper patterns they do disintegrate after a while you can only use them a few times every time that you trace um, around a paper pattern it does indent the paper just a little bit so it's not going to be accurate after a few times it, no matter how careful you are it won't be accurate you can do it in plastic or something um, and that will last a whole lot longer so um, that is our little square circle square circle envelope um, and I'm going to get this up on YouTube and see how it looks and I'm going to see if I can make some more videos today so thanks everybody for watching